Well, my name's Rebecca, I'm 18 and I'm a type 1 diabetic and I was diagnosed when I was about 14, so I've had it for just over four years. Um, and yeah, I'm really interested in uh, piano and other musical instruments as well and do a lot of things like reading and travelling around and all that sort of stuff. And at the moment I'm studying speech pathology at university. I find with music definitely it's um yeah it definitely doesn't take away the fact that I have a condition but it's really really good just as a hobby and it's something that you can just get completely involved in and so you don't really have to think about anything else except what you're doing the music that you're playing. When I was in the children's hospital I was seeing my endocrinologist with my parents every time that I went so it's actually recently in the transition that I've gone to my endocrinologist by myself. It's really, really empowering in a way to be able to do a lot of things on your own so that you know that you can do it. But it is really, at the same time, it's so daunting because you've got to get used to this whole new system and now you're on your own and like you don't have mum and dad to go around to and it's like, oh, can you do this for me? When you're 18, they only talk to you. <laughs> so yeah, no, it's very, very different. But it, it is definitely empowering because you get to do so much more than when you were younger. It's tricky for everyone in general just to have that transition from being like a kid to then turning 18 and all of a sudden you get all this paperwork because you're an adult. But I've found that since I've gone through that transition phase, I've got to sort out things like um, Medicare and Centrelink health cards and all that sort of stuff and picking up prescriptions. And so it's been a big jump, but it's actually been quite a good thing because it means that I'm more self-sufficient in managing my condition. I was connected with Trapeze um, this year, I think, yeah it was this year. Um, I hadn't yet changed over obviously to the adult hospital but my um, nurse educator at the children's hospital put me in contact with Trapeze and it was there that I met Gabby at Trapeze and she um, met up with me at the hospital and she went through all of the paperwork that I would need and what I had to do before I had my first appointment. Um, she even took me down to the hospital to see where I had to go. And then from there she was in regular contact with me. I had a little bit of trouble getting my paperwork in to change to the adult hospital. So there was a big delay and she was really on top of that. She got involved to make sure that I got an appointment because I really needed one. Once you're getting to the age of 18, it's good to look out there and see, you know, there's this thing called trapeze <laughs> and it's, it's really, really helpful. So if you can find it as quick as you can and then get into it, because the thing is, is if you put it off, then you're not going to be able to use the service effectively because you've probably already changed over and you know it might be useful once you're there but it's really good for that transition point. 